kids aren't reading and writing anymore. I've recently interviewed multiple teachers and talked to multiple teachers on my podcast and in just real life. And I've asked questions as to, oh, what's different about when I was in third grade and ninth grade versus now? And the third grade teacher was telling me how when I was there, you'd write a paragraph in your journal about your day or about things that were making you happy, sad, mad, whatever it was. Kids now, it's hard to even get a sentence out of them. And I'm thinking like, what? That's a problem? How is that a problem? But this problem is happening because of their society, because of our cellular devices, because of the iPad kids because of technology, because of the privileges that people go through now where it's like, oh, my kid is having trouble. No, put them in the next room no matter what about the parents' needs, the parents' wants. But again, the parents are the ones that are making their kids read. They're getting lazier. They're letting their kids play with iPhones, iPads, getting on these phones, technology. And they're getting them hooked to these dopamine devices, but not getting them hooked to reading books, being intelligent, going through these critical problem skills, reading, comprehension. And this is one of the most important things for development as a child. It's how you see more words. It's how you learn how to express yourself. Writing things down is so important for your knowledge and your growth. But now, if you're typing everything, it's not the same as physically writing things down. What happens to cursive? What happens to actually being able to use phonics? What happens to all these different things in language? And apparently, in Florida, reading is now an elective. It's not a main core class. So, for example, the five main core classes were math, science, reading, English, and social studies. Now, take away reading. Those are only four core classes, but I remember reading was very different than English. And it's important to have that, but now it doesn't exist anymore. And you wonder why kids aren't reading and writing. Kids aren't reading and writing in elementary school. They'd rather have their attention to the phones. And that is a problem. And it's not allowing them to develop properly. There's too much hyper stimulation to their brains. And even then we went from what? leapfrog to iPads, that's a huge issue. Teachers have been screaming, shouting to the world that there is a problem and nobody seems to care. There's a middle school teacher that was talking on social media about how kids would rather show up to school just to get a cart to smoke and get high. These are middle schoolers. Imagine being in middle school and getting high in class. Like that to me is unfathomable. I remember a person I was in fifth and sixth grade, like I couldn't imagine that person going through that experience. That's insane to me. And we wonder why our future generations are gonna be dumber and dumber. Why AC scores, SC scores have fallen year over year over the last seven years. There's an issue here. Teachers are screaming about it and it starts at the home. It starts with the parents. We have to parent our children better. We have to understand this is the future generations. They have to read, they have to write. And then when you insert chat GPT and all these different things in their lives, they don't want to have to think anymore. They can type it into a chat box and it'll do it for them. We're becoming dumber and dumber as a society. And it seems that like we're getting closer and closer to Wally. -E. And honestly, one of the things that I find insane is that you can't even blame the kids. You have to blame the parents. Kids are kids. Like they literally are just given what's happening to their environment. And if the parents aren't parenting, then the kids ain't gonna be learning. Again, a main problem here is a technological distraction. When I was in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, the phones that existed when I was in seventh and eighth grade were flip phones or phones that slid up and down. And you had to type this way. There was no internet on the phones. Like you must have been the most wealthy person in the world to have internet on your phone, right? You were lucky if you even could text. Like that was like, you're blessed. All we could be able to do was call our moms and dads and be like, hey, I'm, I'm done with practice. Can you come pick me up? That's what the phone was made for, right? That's what we used it for. But now they're using iPhone 13 Pro Maxes and all these 15 Pro Maxes and they're in sixth grade. Of course, it's literally a giant computer in your hand that does everything for you faster than computers were back then. Obviously, they're gonna be distracted. There's so many different social media devices, dopamine delivery devices that they're gonna be addicted to. The screen time is going through the roof. How much reading time are they really having? And again, there's pressures upon standardized testing where standardized testing is seen as, oh, you don't need your SATs anymore to get into college. Just write an essay. They can't even do that. You're expecting them to do that and not the essay anymore. So then what standardizations are even existing anymore? What are they even going after? Are they even learning anything? And even then, we're doing this promotion on tests, right? But are they actually learning? The point of school isn't just to get straight A's. The point is to learn something. And some of the classes I didn't do the best in growing up, I actually learned the most. And I loved that. I didn't care about the grade. I actually just liked learning. And it was cool when teachers allowed you to talk, raise your hands in class, discussions. I love that part. But nowadays, a ninth grade teacher on a recent podcast I had told me, hey, in your class, you guys love doing group work. After COVID, what happened? Oh, kids would rather put their headsets on, earbuds in, and do work solo, independent. But for me, I don't know about you guys again, but I remember I'd be like, hey, you do number one, uh, you do number two, I was number three, and oh, yo, you do number four, so we'll all uh, get 
each of them done, share it, and then we'll share the answers and then just talk to the rest of the class until everyone else is done. I was sitting there trying to gamify and make it easy for ourselves, right? Because you want to get things done, work together, and then chill. But now people would rather just do all the work alone. Imagine that. And again, there might be an extracurricular overload. There's so many clubs now. There's so many different things, groups to join, things to do, but it doesn't leave time for that free growth, that creativity, that learning, the reading. So maybe that is a part of it as well. But again, technology and access to it, going from physical books to eBooks, going from internet as a source rather than needing to go to the library. I remember when I was really young, I would have to go to the library to find book sources. Now all the sources are online. And that happened as I was in school, where we went from only book sources to then the teachers allowing online sources. And again, the social norms for kids nowadays is to play video games all day after school. They don't want to go outside and play. They don't want to do that stuff because it's so fun to sit at home, play Xbox or PlayStation and do whatever. And you know what? They're quiet. They're upstairs in their rooms doing their thing. They're not bothering me as a parent. Whatever. I'm happy. But you have to remember, they need to be reading, they need to be writing, they need to be expressing themselves, they need to be learning, interacting, building these social skills. And these are some factors as to why kids are reading and writing. If you guys know any other reasons as to why kids may not be reading and writing, let me know. And if you guys like this video, I'm here every week talking about different things in society. I would love to know what you guys think, so please feel free to leave it in the comments, if, especially if I missed something or there's other factors that you guys might know. And if you're a teacher and educator, thank you. Literally just thank you for trying your best. And remember, if you're a parent and have kids at home, really remember that you have, have to make sure your kids are reading and writing because it is one of the most important skills for their development. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next week. See you later.